after retirement because I retired at an early age due to some commitments and I took the retirement but I decided that I'm not going to leave the sport because I was back as a as a coach with teach used to do IP45 and now I'm fully into commentary and guess what it is nice when you have the post race experience so you can share share all sort of information with regards to the racing to the populace out there, especially to the people who are in a disadvantaged position where they cannot see the race that well. So some of them, their ears become their, their eyes. So people like us as a commentator, when you assess the race properly and you deliver a finished product to the people, a polished product, the people don't lose anything because their ears become their eyes. And as long as they can hear and they can put it into their imagination, as Corey Walter said earlier, you, he had fun, they will have fun. And it's always a pleasure giving back to the sport at all costs and letting people enjoy themselves.
Sergio, no snacks. jump up when you've had a fall and he's been bounced by another motorcycle they have to stay I slid and fell on my right shoulder um, coming to the, the medical team to find out that it was broken so the doctor took full care of me and I mean he told me I can't go back which I'm very anxious to go back but I can't go back so I'm trying to work it out uh, it, uh, big up Mad Marsh and him team you don't know all the medical team here at Dover I'm a little friend, all my little fans here, big them up, and next year will be a great year. Well, this year is a culmination of 50 years in motor racing. I started out in 1968 racing, racing dirt bikes, progressing onto um, go karts, and you know. Ra I rallies, um, drag racing, I raced dirt bikes all over um, the States, in Cayman, in England. That's where I really learned my skills, particularly in England. Um, and t today is, I've decided that I should really um, hang up the gloves. Sorry about that, but yeah, it's been, it's been a long, long, long journey. Um, lots of ups and downs, more ups and downs. Um, I don't. I, I, I want to let the fans know, and particularly fans of um, fans of the Pocket Rocket, which is. Uh, which is how I started out with. Um, we we're trying, that's why we missed qualifying yesterday. We we're trying to get the, the Mini together. It's now has a B18 Type R engine in it. But um, a lot of the guys were down here and you know we, we decided that we had to shelve the project. So I'll see how today runs with Zoom Zoom and um, if it puts on a good show and the fans want to see me back for one more year, I'll, I think I want to reconsider because I would like to end the year with the Pocket Rocket. It's what I started out with. Um, although also known as the darling of Dover um, but we're here to entertain the fans we went through the car from top to bottom differential gearbox new engine configuration so we're hoping for a good show um, if I may if I could just thank sponsors from way back my very first sponsor was my wife's Air Jamaica US dollar checks that assisted to get me going and then um, Cecil Bahari, his old company called Caribbean Gum, they helped me buy the gearbox for the Mini. And then it went on to 
car brake with rocket batteries, pure later filters, DHL, um, and currently Epping Oil Company and my good friend Ruji, who we both raced dirt bikes for many years, he's come on to assist in my tire purchases and we had at least the last week's Sunday where we broke an axle. I guess it's a bit too much power, so he assisted me in, in, in getting those into Jamaica in time. So I'd like to thank all the sponsors that have been part of the, the program. Um, you know, and I want to turn my, my energies now to more making Jamaican roads safer. I'd like to push that more um, with my experience and know-how. I'd like to see a lot less accidents on the roads. It's just mayhem out there and um, just driving down here, the craziness on the road. And I'd like people to come and experience go-karting, the need for speed, take it off the roads and, you know, enjoy life instead of being six foot on the, be six foot on top. So with that, I'd just like to thank the fans of all, the JRDC, for assisting over the years. Thank you. I'd also like to um, thank the jewelers. I'd also like to thank the jewelers out of Canada, some Guyanese fans that present me with this this treasure at Jamwest at the CMRC event earlier this year. Um, it's got the Jamwest logo on it, and I plan to put my Peter Ray Motorsports 50 years on the rear. So it was a very um, touching moment for them to have, you know. Um, supply me with this momentum and um, much appreciate. Thank you.
Uh, today so far we qualified second yesterday and we had a really good start in the first race, held the lead to the end and then reverse grid. I was at right at the back, me and William and we I got past a decent amount in the first lap and second lap I was in second, third lap pass for the lead and then I was leading until the end and then the MP4 car passed me to go in front but um, I won that race as well so I'm two for two right now which is really cool and interesting and we're gonna try to keep that momentum going. Uh, the rallycross was a crazy experience. I mean, I wanted to go a lot further than it did last year. I mean, I'm not just looking for a one-off year. And, but right now, we're, everything is kind of still up in the air. We are still committed to Dirtfish, which is, which is uh, a good. Um, but yeah, right now, the main focus after this is Rally Jamaica, but rallycross is definitely the way going forward.
Yeah man, last week of the year, why? As usual, they don't know challenges, challenges, challenges. Engine, suspension, wheel fly off, windscreen lick up. But here, what? I had fun. I had crazy fun. The car handled very well. The car engine is up and running again. The power is there. I had fun. I had fun. Well, I, well you know, says I customer care me. I work for and our fuel always get ruptured mm -hmm. and spray some fuel for me and it light on the exhaust. So you don't know a part of the work. Yeah, it's a part of the game, you know? You can't get it from it. None at all. You don't know what. I'm here, alive, kicking. Next year, greater things. Remember.
What you saw there was the end of race 3 for the modified production class. I placed fur I was placed first in this race, which caused us to seal the championship for MP1. This is my second time winning the MP1 championship. I would like to thank the mechanics, my sponsors, Avis, Jamaica, Pain Plus, Healthy Concepts Pharmacy, and the list goes on. Bay Water, Big Up Cutter Hype and Brem Brem Patrick. Wouldn't be possible without them, trust me. good year. Um, it started off very rough because um, we were down on some power moving up from the MP1 class to the MP2 so we are a little short on power. Throughout the year we were able to get some sponsors you know make some upgrades and now we are a lot closer to them you know my best time this year was a 126.8 and their best time was like a 126.2 so we are a lot closer and I think next year we will be much stronger. good meet you know the couple restarts in the first race um, kind of throw me off because when uh, when it finally went go it was only three laps Talman beat me to turn one and we couldn't get past him so we got a second in that uh, won the second race won the third race and then Mario Woon big congrats to Mario Woon for winning the fourth race with a big ride congrats to him so in addition to that everything was good it's five years in a row now we've been able to retain the A-class title and we're looking forward for next year, 2019, Dover Raceway. Well, it was a wonderful closing, you know. You know, we came out in numbers. Um, we, you know, brought out the young guns versus senior citizens. We print up some shirts and we create a vibe. Um, the races, they went well. We, you know, had a little hiccup in race one where we had three restarts and things, but, you know, we managed to 
be on the podium twice, we we'll take the win in the final race. So we feel comfortable, we're happy going out. Well, it was somewhat challenging. Uh, to, I had like three days to set up the bike after getting here from New Jersey. I had some issues with the rebounding, but eventually, because the track keeps changing every time I come here, we got it right. We won the first race and came second in the second one. Then the rain caused us to pull up on the third race as I was running slicks and not rain, rain tires. But it was a good trip anyways, and we did it safely, which is important.
Honestly, uh, the last race meet of the year was a bit tight, nothing planned. Um, we tried our best, the, the team worked endless amount of hours this week. It was a good race meet, it's a lot more organized than before. I mean, really on time, the, 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 the track is in, in good condition, well prepared. Can't complain, so you know, kudos to JRDC and everybody else who helped. Uh, indeed, the, the, the competitors, Kyle, Andre Anderson, Doug, everybody was really entertaining, entertaining with the driving. So I just followed suit. I mean, me being the guy with the least amount of experience. But I really had fun. As for next year, we don't know what we plan to do just yet. But at the end, you know, it was a good year, challenging. But there was a lot of lessons learned. And we achieved a lot. So, we, you know, we have to be grateful. Yep, final meet. Um, it was a good, 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 and a little disappointing, but can't complain. We um, we put on a good show for the for the spectators here. Um, finished first in the in the first race, finished second in the first race, and second in the third race. Was um, holding Kyle for I think four laps, and um, we, we made a little touch, a little nudge, and he got the better of me in the second race, but. All in all, a good day. In the last race, we blew the turbo, so we just have to come again. Just have to regroup and come again. <laughs> all in all, a very great weekend. Andre Anderson was very fast on qualifying. We had a ding down. He was first in qualifying. I was first. It was an awesome qualifying session. In the race, kind of first race of the day, kind of walked away with it. Second race was probably one of the hardest races for the year. Andre's car is running superbly well and he's driving excellent as, as per norm and it just shows you that he's done his homework because I had to really dig for that one. Last race, Doug, Doug tried what he tried best, tried to bully at the start and tried to go down the inside. I don't blame him, he saw the opportunity but um, just managed to keep my pace and I know I had to just finish to win Drivers Champion so that was the main goal for today. Finish all the races and secure the Drivers Championship. We got here on Saturday, we realized that the car was not 100% up to scratch. We kept having problems after problems and very, very worried about what was going to happen race day. But, you know, the team just kept trying over and over and over and kudos to them. You know, don't care what happened. They, they went out and they, they tried to repair something. Anything that went wrong, they repaired it. Went wrong again, they repaired it. And, you know, it's a testament to the team that is that they just wanted to make sure that regardless, they wanted to get, try and get a race in. And, the last race, you know, it was, it was a very exciting one, I'm sure, everybody saw. And it is a show to what the Kia can do 
and it will be a force to reckon with in 2019 for sure. You know, I've always said to myself, when would I retire? And I have always said that the days that I decide that I'm going to be an also run, I think I'll put it up. You know, if I don't feel that I can win, I'll definitely you know, hang up my gloves and, and part it on to Tommy. And, uh, you know, Peter's had a fantastic career with uh, 50 years of racing, which is unbelievable. I mean, I only have about half of that. So, you know, can you imagine that if I race for another 25 years, poor Tommy wouldn't get a drive in my car. <laughs> so I'm sure he doesn't want me to last that long, but kudos to, to Peter. And Peter, fantastic run here. Uh, at his age, um, I think that, you know, time, time to give it up. But I mean, I wish him all the best in life. You understand? You know, I know that, you know, you have young people still, you know, Coming up to dominate this, Peter has reached the age right now where, you know, full time, you understand? And it might be him just think about um, him life, you understand? This track is not an easy track to drive on, you understand? So, it might be just one of those things that you have to give up. It's a sad story, a lot of people are going to miss him. I'm going to miss him, but, you know, it's a good feeling, you understand? Sometimes you have to give up certain things to continue, you know, life. Thank you. Peter Ray, you know, Peter is a big crowd pleaser. You see me? We are going to miss Peter Ray, man. We are going to miss him a whole lot. But well, everybody I hope still have to see the car on the track racing. So if you have like a nephew or somebody who could have make drive the car, you understand? We are going to miss him, man. Yeah, man. Big crowd pleaser. Well, my feet on Peter Ray's retirement is actually a very. I'm happy for Peter after giving so much to the sport. But it's also disappointing because I still think he has a lot more to offer. And I hope over the Christmas somebody will bribe him with a big piece of ham and I might just bribe him with something else from, from the Jugs Lab. And you know something like that to ensure that Peter comes back for at least one more year. Because he still has a lot more to offer and I can tell you to be honest my daughter has never seen Peter Ray race. She's four year old. Big up Haley. Yes and I would like to, her to come and see him race. So guess what? I would have, I would have love it if Peter Ray comes back for at least one more year. Because come April, my daughter should be here watching the races. I will definitely take her. So I hope he stays here, stays so she can't see him. No, I don't think he's ready to I want some more tonight. I want some more tonight. Yeah? We don't expect that. Alright, no, I generally in high place. And I generally in high place. And we expect, we want more road time. Yeah? Peter is retired from racing as of today for today. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Let's never say never. Peter's passion in life is his racing, his cars, his cars, his cars, and his cars. Then we have his go-karts and his bikes. You have to respect a man and his passion. Never get in between his passion. And so I've learned to live with that and work along with him and his passion. Uh, pretty emotional. Um, I've seen my daddy go through a lot of stuff, the car, um, him himself. I've been traveling with my dad for many years and just for him to accomplish 50 years of racing and you know, the recognition shown to daddy by the marshals and even the fans, it's heartwarming because he went through a lot of ups and downs and sometimes it felt like it went unnoticed. So for it to be noticed and for him to accomplish it, I'm really proud. This is Astro watching Mad Vision Production. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Kyle Gregg, 2018 Jamaica Drivers Champion. You're watching Mad Vision Production.